PBC, you won't believe who they just signed to their welterweight division and campaign. Ugh. Went back to kill. Oh! Was oh! him, and he got his face coming out right away. Brand new breaking news. Hot off the presses. My boy Rashidi Ellis. It's official. Rashidi Ellis is now signed with the PBC. It says it's official. Rashidi Ellis, a PBC fighter. We are ready for the big fights. And then it has the PBC logo. So the decision has been made. And he put grape drink. I don't know what that is. The grapes and the drink. I mean, if you guys know what that is, you you let me know. But this is huge. Bro, PBC is doing it big. The welterweight division, in my opinion, is already owned by premier boxing champions. They got the top-rated people. You know, there's a couple miscellaneous people like Conor Ben, but he's not really fighting anybody of note, right? Are you fighting Chris Van Herdeen, who Boots Ennis already beat? Boots is fighting an eliminator. Um, you got Virgil Ortiz. He was ill, pulled out of his last fight. You know, these are the things. So, at the end of the day, this is a big pickup for premier boxing champions. It's definitely a big pickup. This is this excites me. Now, I've been watching Rashidi Ellis for a while, and a lot of people talk about Blair the Flair Cobbs being stopped by Alexis Rocha. This man, Rashidi Ellis, beat an undefeated Alexis Rocha, right? So a lot of people didn't give him credit. Now, I don't know all the details, but I know he was signed with Golden Boy Promotions. And they, even after beating Rashidi Ellis, so, I mean, after Rashidi Ellis beat Alexis Rocha, they did nothing with him. Like, I have no idea why. Like, you would think that if you have a breakout performance that – the the world is your oyster and you know things would start cracking off for you but that's literally not what happened it's not what happened with Rashidi Ellis it's like he was almost tortured and treated worse for beating Alexis Rocha because no opportunities came about then came the lawsuit so it says golden boy benching of Rashidi Ellis has been costly hashtag free speedy Ellis when will he return to the ring so he's been fighting and battling trying to get out of his contract or whatever the situation is. This this dude can fight. And he spars with Canelo Alvarez from time to time, him and his brother. So I like it. I think this is dope. Um, you know, PBC just continues to pave um the path towards success. This is how you this is how you you know monopolize what you're trying to do. And that's by signing great fighters and having major stake in the division. Look at him. He's flashy. I remember one fight where Rashidi Ellis, he dropped the guy and then he ran like <laughs> he ran towards the dude as the dude's on the ground hurt. I mean, this is crazy. This is a real big pickup by premier boxing champ. See, there's him and Canelo, as you guys see. Look, Canelo looked tired too, bro. He's slick, got pop. You know, got charisma. He also sparred with Demetrius Andre as well, for those that don't know. I think he's from the same, you know, kind of immediate region. Boo Boo's from Rhode Island, things like that. So I'm loving this move. That's him and his brother, Speedy Ellis. Man, I mean, I know Errol Spence said he's thinking about moving up in a couple fights. He wants to fight Crawford. But this is somebody that everybody should be checking for because – I don't. I doubt he would be able to get like an Errol Spence straight away. You know, you're new to the system and stuff. You kind of have to earn your keep, and and he's been inactive. You wouldn't probably want to go in straight away. You know, I don't know what he wants. Like as far as a fighter, because you know, fighters are defiant by nature. Fighters are stubborn, so you know they might just. I'm ready for the best, but you know, you gotta. That's him and Joshua. You gotta just play play your part, and and I just truly believe he'll be able to get bigger and better fights now because. PBC has the like the top welterweights as far as I'm concerned. To me, this also puts pressure on Terrence Crawford. What is Terrence Crawford going to do? Because at the end of the day, Crawford, he's been in no man's land. 
and he's fighting everybody available when he was with top rank. Now he's suing top rank. And, and I got to note this. How come nobody's suing Al Heyman? Golden Boy, you have Rashidi Ellis fighting to get out of his contract, right? You have Terrence Crawford suing his former promoter and having beef. In the past, you had like Ryan Garcia was beefing with Golden Boy and had issue, and he said, just release me. You know, if you ain't going to do nothing with me, you don't believe in me, you saying Virgil Ortiz is nicer than me, it looks like they've since patched that up. But how come people are going towards Al Heyman and Premier Boxing Champions and they're not actually, they're not suing Al Heyman. You know what I mean? So it's going to be very interesting to see what Terrence Bud Crawford's next move is. What is Crawford going to do? Because there's a rumor that Crawford could go to PBC. It looks like the best. I mean, you tell me in the comment section. If I'm wrong, you let me know. But it looks like, actually, before I get into that, in the last 30 days, I noticed 50% of the people that consumed my content on YouTube were subscribed. Thank you. The other 50% have yet to subscribe to the channel. Maybe you forgot. Maybe you didn't know it was important. Maybe YouTube unsubscribed you. Either way, here's your reminder. Subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan of boxing, you're a fan of me. I give you guys all the boxing news you can handle. Breaking news updates like this one here, which... Happens to be a big one. He in shape, too. Look. He, he dang near look. Look at his shoulders, bro. Look at the man's shoulder. He dang, dang near look bigger than Canelo. You know what I'm saying? And Canelo about to fight at 175. What are we talking about? Subscribe to the channel. Back to what I was saying. What is Crawford going to, to do if it's not PBC? You see what I'm saying? Like, from Jose Cito Lopez is fighting on the Errol Spence card. That's a great fight with Cody Crowley. Rashidi Ellis just made it official and announced that he's with PBC and he's a guy who sparred with Canelo, as I mentioned, spar with Dimitri Andrade, beat in a pro fight Alexis Rocha, who got a lot of praise for knocking out Blair Cobbs recently, you know, when Virgil Ortiz pulled out of his fight. This is big. This is a big move because Cody Crowley, Jose Cito Lopez winner, I would like to see him fight Rashidi Ellis. And Rashidi Ellis, if you guys notice my channel, I've been pulling for him to get a fight. Even when he was with Golden Boy, I was like, man, somebody, I would love to see him in the mix. But for whatever reason, Golden Boy, they didn't really do anything with him. You know, and it's crazy because Oscar De La Hoya is constantly talking about, you know, I built this fighter and, you know, I built this fighter and whatever the case is. But who did he really build? Because... Golden Boy had first dibs on a lot of guys like Rashidi Ellis, especially if I'm being frank, black fighters or dark skinned fighters, Rashidi Ellis, and you did nothing with him, even when he beat Alexis Rocha and looked sensational. Golden Boy didn't do anything, and now he's out of the contract. Now he's with PBC, and they're going to show you how to move a black fighter, period, right? Because PBC, they don't care. If you can fight, you can fight. You know what I'm saying? No matter if you're black, Mexican, white, Chinese, whatever. So I think he'll get a fair shake over there. Other guys with Golden Boy, Luis King Kong Ortiz. A lot of people don't even know that. He didn't make it on pay-per-view when he was with Eddie Hearn. He was with him for a couple fights. He didn't make it on pay-per-view when he was with Golden Boy. And then you have an Afro-Cuban like Luis King Kong Ortiz. And then as soon as he gets with PBC, his fights get better. And then it culminates in two Deontay Wilder fights. And he made millions of dollars in that. So I'm very happy for Rashidi Ellis because I think he's he's one of boxing's best kept secrets. You know, it's it's crazy how this works, but there's a lot of guys like Rashidi Ellis. They could fight and they just need the audience and the promoter to get behind them, the network to get behind them, womp, 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 And I think, and I've told you this, he's one of those people, you know. See, look, he fought on this. This was 78 weeks ago. 78 weeks ago, he beat, you know, Alexis Rocha, who just beat Blair Cobbs, and Golden Boy didn't do nothing but let him escape. That's a dope picture with him and uh, Andre Ward, right? He didn't, Golden Boy didn't do nothing with him. They didn't, They just, like, he beat him. Normally, when, you, when you're, as a boxer, you beat someone who's supposed to be a real good fighter, you know, someone who's getting praised, then you're on to the next thing. 
Like, look at Ugas. Ugas beat Manny Pacquiao with PBC, another Afro-Cuban. He beat Pacquiao, and then now he's, he's like, thrown into an Errol Spence unification immediately after. I mean, this is, this is great. This is great news. Oh, look. Oh, he, he told you he could fight. Y'all don't want to listen to me. Look, he was clubbing him like a baby seal. Man, it's over. Subscribe to the channel. I'm the best in business. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.